Welcome to our discussion on Euler diagrams. We're going to look at how to analyze logical arguments, what makes an argument logical or not, and we're going to look at universal quantifiers and existential quantifiers, and how to use Euler diagrams to figure out when they're true and when they're not. Okay, so a logical argument is just made up of premises. These are like assumptions, laws, rules, uh, things that are basically held true, and then a conclusion. And together, the premises, remember those laws and observations and things, um, and the conclusion make up the entire argument. You've seen these before, you just didn't know what they were called. Now, a valid argument, right, is valid if um, the fact that all the premises are true forces the conclusion to be true. So if all the little bits and pieces in the first part are all true, and that forces the conclusion to be true, then it's a valid argument. Otherwise, it's invalid, and it's called a fallacy. Uh, universal quantifiers um, are just, you know, all, some, none, those types of things. Let's look at an example. Um, is the following argument valid? Well, all cats are animals, and Figgy is a cat. So those two things are the premises, and then the, under the line is your conclusion. Therefore, Figgy is an animal. Right? And then all is that universal qualifier. Well, we can determine if that's true by drawing a picture. So you see how the, the circle that uh, represents cats is inside the circle that's animals, because all cats are animals means that all of the cats are inside the animal category. And then if Figgy is a cat, then X representing Figgy has to be inside the cat circle. So is it true that Figgy is an animal? Well, X is inside the animal circle, so yes, Figgy is an animal, and it's true, and therefore, it's a valid argument. Let's look at another one. All sunny days are hot, again with the universal quantifier of all. Today is not hot, so therefore, today is not sunny. Draw the picture. So big circle represents hot days, and then it says all sunny days are hot. So sunny days are completely inside hot days. Today is not hot, so the X has to be outside of the hot circle. And then today is not sunny, it's also outside the sunny circle. So therefore, it's true, valid argument. Another universal quantifier with all. All cars have wheels, that vehicle has wheels, therefore that vehicle is a car. Draw the picture. Things that have wheels inside that are cars because all cars have wheels. So the car circle has to be inside the wheel circle. That vehicle has wheels. Well, if that vehicle has wheels, it's anywhere inside the wheel circle. It could be out here, but it could be inside the car circle. You see how it could live in both of those places and still make that statement true. And because of that, it does not prove right, or force the conclusion to be true. That vehicle is not necessarily a car because it could be out here in things that have wheels and it could be a bicycle or a motorcycle or a unicycle or a, a bunch of things that have wheels that aren't cars. Okay, It could be a car, right, but it doesn't force it to be true, so therefore it's an invalid argument. Let's look at another one. Some students, right, there's our universal quantifier of some students um, drink coffee. I am a student, therefore I drink coffee. Well, draw the picture. Here's people who drink coffee. Here are students. They overlap because this little football shape represents those students who drink coffee because it said some students drink coffee, not all students who drink coffee. So you can see the difference, right? The um, The all and none thing nest inside of each other, the sum overlap. When it says I am a student, I could be anywhere in the student shape. I could be out here, but I could also be in the football. So it could be that I drink coffee, but it could be that I'm out here and I don't drink coffee. So again, it doesn't force the last thing to be true, therefore invalid argument. Okay, and, and, and those are Euler diagrams. That's, that's all we're going to do to determine if things are valid or not.